the Material Maintenance and Management Inspection Team will grade the effectiveness of our 3M program. Let's verify the EGL to our 13 week report. They're going to come aboard in May and take a hard look at our level of knowledge and especially the way we execute a program that admittedly gave us problems a year ago. On the secondary level, you want to have your, your manufacturer. And success is going to boil down to this. You know the process and execute. If you don't go through the processes every single time the same way and the right way, then they're going to be able to see right through, through you and uh, you know, pick you apart. The level of 3M knowledge was low when the carrier set sail in January 2010. Sailors had to step up, learn their gear, learn how to do it the right way, and get ready for a, a big exam, you know, basically a 3MI. But next month, sailors will be able to show that they've manned up. And it has all the safety precautions you must take, and it has all the hazardous identifications. And improve their 3M programs and knowledge to the 3MI inspectors. Bush part width, 0.875 inches normal. They want to see you go through it in your normal maintenance routine. And make the uh, inspector just an observer. Inspectors focus on how sailors follow and reference to the material on the maintenance requirement card, or MRC. Any uh, discrepancies are corrected, repeat this MRC check until satisfactory results are obtained. Use verbatim compliance, um, going through the card step by step, looking up every instruction when you're supposed to. When it says review safety procedures, you should have been reviewing safety procedures. Then if you run into a problem, you stop. <laughs> Don't just skip it and go to the next one and that's an automatic failure. 3M plays a vital role in the ship's damage control and if sailors just go through the 3M motions and you pretty much just risk a bunch of lives and getting lost because you fail to do your end of what the 3M that you're supposed to be doing. If you don't live the 3M way then and you're just getting dressed for the show you're gonna get caught. So now is the time to review safety materials needed for preventative maintenance, including hazardous materials. Wash your correct layers with soap and water upon completion of task. If you're not familiar with what that material can do to you, uh, then you're going to be compl complacent in the fact, you know, and start using it in the wrong way or not putting the proper PPE on and, uh, you know, wind up hurting yourself. Verbatim compliance. Know the safety manuals and read a step, do a step. Reporting for the 70, I'm Petty Officer Eric Crosby.